practices, how did it all go for you? It was good just get back on the ice. I mean, for myself, I did some work in and some just some reps in, and that's what I needed, and uh, I'm glad I got that. What can you get out of a game and a conditioning assignment like that to help you, you know, get back to where you were before the injury? I think just seeing game reps. Biggest thing for me, just getting to the game reps. You have to, I mean, six weeks is a long time to be off, especially for myself, and don't take that much time off. So uh, it was just good for me to get into some games and just get some reps and see the puck and see some plays. What's the experience of going back to the AHL league? Uh, you're very familiar with it. A lot of people talk about how it's, it's a little more scrambly than the NHL. There's not as much structure. What's that like for you? Like, oh, it's... It was. It's been a little while since I've been down there. So yeah, I mean, team played great. They have a really good structure. Apps is a really good coach. They play a really good game down there. So uh, for myself, it was just more about getting used to getting back in the game action. That's the main main thing for I was focused on is just getting getting used to it again. I mean, Seamus is a good coach down there. Bales here just said, hey, go down there and get some reps. You just need some reps. How long did it take in that first game to maybe to ramp up and get yourself into a game, uh, you know, to feel good in, in the net uh, for a game? It's funny, you know, the first game you go down there, you're like, oh man, this is going to be a little rusty. But honestly, your adrenaline takes over the first game. And you're like, wow, I'm just playing off adrenaline now. I, just, I feel good. Mm -hmm. And then the second game, you're like, okay, I'm going to feel great again. And you're like, wait a second. I don't have the same adrenaline I had the first game. So you're trying to, trying to get back into it. It's almost the second and third game where you're a little bit more, okay, let's get going here. Get back to the routine, get back to the thing with the first game, just all adrenaline, just going. Were you tired after that first game? Because you faced a lot of shots uh, against the Marlies. No, I was actually more tired my second game for some reason. I think just, once again, the adrenaline kind of thing, just, just feeling amped up from the adrenaline, just feeling going, and that's, that's the main thing, I think. What's next for you now as you come back up here and start practicing? I've got no idea right now. I'm just going to take it day by day, and for myself, uh, I wish I had a better answer for you guys, but really it was right now, just to take it day by day and just work as hard as I can every single day and be a good teammate and enjoy my ride, and wherever us three go, or it's, it's up to the management and up to the, wherever they decide. But it's a little different too. I mean, this is the NHL. They don't, you know, compared to the AHL, you're going to have to get used to that again too, aren't you? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't down there for so long. I mean, it's only a couple practices. So for me, it's just, it's just right back into kind of get the atmosphere and just once again, it's just, it's it's been time. It's just getting rhythm back, getting back up to speed, getting back up to timing. That's all it really is. You talked about the guys in Rochester. Do you know some of the young kids? Uh, did you, did, you, did you see a lot, of, a lot of talent from some of those younger kids uh, that we will see maybe in a couple of years? Oh, for sure, lots and lots of talent. I mean, they were also missing two of their youngest guys. They're both at World Juniors, but uh, I mean, we got, we're pretty young. I think we might be younger up here than we are down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I like to check that actually because I felt walk around. I'm like, ah, I feel more average age here. And up here, I'm like, oh, I'm a little older up here. So I don't know. Uh, we have to check that one out. How's Subban been doing? He's awesome. He's great. I saw he got into a fight last game, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and he told me the day before I left, he says, I'm going to try and get into a fight. I said, nah, you're not going to get into a fight, Subi. And sure enough, I don't know. I, I mean, he didn't really, it wasn't him who instigated it, but it just kind of happened. But it was fun to see. So are you, in your mind, healthy? Could you play an NHL game at this point? Oh, I'm fully healthy. Yeah, health is not an issue for me anymore. It's just about getting back up to speed and whenever the team decides to play. That's, it's not really my decision when I, when, I, when I play. It's up to them, and I'm, I'm fully healthy, ready to go, though. What's impressed you about Uka Pekka over these past couple months, I guess? Oh, it's been it's been a huge build. I mean, from the, where he started to where he is now, he's been great. I mean, he's got some momentum going right now. He's been playing great, and teams love it. And he's just, I think it's just, once again, it just took him a little second to get his rhythm, and all of a sudden he got his rhythm. And he's flying right now, and he's playing excellent hockey, and it's, it's, it's fun to watch. Thanks, Eddie.